So I'm in the stages of insulating my van while I'm living in it. So I do a little bit here and there when I have time. Um, I just want to let you know that when I'm cutting out these little pieces of thin insulate, insulation, I um, don't need to be super precise. If it fits in the hole good enough, I'll use it. I figure I can use the scraps at the very end to fill in all the little gaps if there's any missing pieces. Also, I am starting to put any scraps inside of the uh, ribs, inside of all these little holes, anything I can get to. I'm not exactly concerned with um, making this perfect, but if you're going to spend the money on thin insulate and insulating your van, you might as well get it, you know, pretty good. Because uh, if you leave one big gap, it could defeat the whole purpose. So I'm going to try not to do that. There's plenty of videos out there showing how to do this. I just want to let you know that I'm cutting basically by hand um, and eyeballing it with a little bit of a measuring tape. But, but I'm basically, hey, if it's 16 and a half inches and I happen to go off by a half an inch either way, it doesn't matter to me because I'm going to fill in the gaps. And there's so many contours and grooves that it's not going to matter too much anyways. You can always fill in the rest. I am using, I'm using a Loctite spray adhesive. It's meant for metal. So I'm going to use this. I just spray the location that I'm going to put it on. And then I spray the corners and the insulation as well. Uh, but I, I focus on the corners so that it stays up. And so far it's been doing pretty good with the weather. Um, the ceilings are holding up. I've had those up for about a week now and that's it. So here's my insulation process. I'll give you more later. As you can see, I am in my van doing the work. So I spread everything out across uh, the van so I can get an open space and I just start cutting. You cut it to your size, spray a little bit of this Loctite adhesive to the wall and then spray a little bit to the actual insulation. Now I'm just kind of fitting this in there. I cut it very haphazardly. That's okay. So you'll see in a second, I'll place it in there. But what you want to pay attention to when I start putting it up there is there are some cables in the groove that I'm going to put this insulation in. So what I'm doing is I'm going to put the insulation in and tuck it behind the cables. And I'll show you that here in a second. You can't really see it though, but you'll see my hands kind of fiddling with the cable to get it in front of the insulation. Now this Loctite is a little uh, quick to, to uh, stick. So once you stick the insulation down, it's kind of stuck there for a second. So you might have to rip it apart if you make a mistake. So try to get it in the right place the first time. It's a little difficult when you have to kind of go inside of, um, you know, holes or somewhere where there's a something covering the uh, your access point. But yeah, as you can see, this fits in there pretty good. You don't have to be that precise. Again, you can add insulation where you might have a gap or stuff it somewhere where it might be too big. It'll still work. And then here I'm just adding a little bit more adhesive to the corners because I wasn't sure how long it was. Again, I just kind of eyeballed it and cut the, cut the insulation. If you find this helpful, uh, please subscribe and like the video. Leave a comment below and I'll be sure to add more soon.